During the last war, Aero was neutral. So why were these aircraft flying over Donegal? A unique arrangement between the British and Irish governments, which illustrated just how benevolent de Valera was to the Allies, allowed aircraft to overfly Ballyshannon and Bundoran. The Donegal Corridor was, of course, extremely useful to the Allies because it saved them miles of you know, flying around uh, Malin Head. And that was an example, perhaps, but it was a breach of neutrality. It was another example of how pragmatic de Valera could be when the gain to the Allies was on the scale. Now, if the gain was only marginal, he probably would have been uh, nitpicking and said, well, you've got to fly around Donegal. But that, that wasn't uh, a practical proposition. So the Irish Defence Forces didn't notice when the Donegal Corridor was used. On the evening of Sunday, January the 23rd, 1944, a Halifax based at Tyree in Scotland crashed here at Tullin Strand in Bundoran. The aircraft had been flying for 12 hours, had lost radio contact and was almost out of fuel. In the bad weather, the pilot was trying to find somewhere to land. The entire crew were lost. A set of rosary beads were found on the body of Vladimir Adamich. He was buried at the Catholic Cemetery in Irvinstown. The two girls that saw the plane come down, I still have their letters. I, they wrote us. And when she saw the plane crash, she went down to the beach and my brother was still alive and she started to see the act of contrition in his ear and he repeated a few words and that's how she knew he was Catholic, well besides the beads. But we didn't get the beads back, they went with him. Fred Dawson is also buried in Irvinstown in the Church of Ireland graveyard. He, he would have been 20 the next day. He was killed the day before his birthday. And I was with all four of the boys in um, Eastern Canada when they were training. So I feel close to, to the three, the two over there, and Fred and uh, my friends brother who is buried up at the Catholic cemetery. For two women united by the tragedy, this journey is deeply personal. And it's a sign of the changing times that memorials are being erected on crash sites in places once thought unimaginable. This memorial to Canadians and British airmen has been made possible through the good offices of Bundoran Urban Council.